Alright Halos, welcome back. We are back in Final Fantasy 16 once again. Uh, it's been a quick minute since I last played, but no worries. Um, so he says serve, serve Kenneth's soup. I think that's what we're working on right now. So let's go ahead and place the bull. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, Ben. See that you eat it before it gets cold. Of course. Thank you. No problem, man. All right, that's one of three. Young had so many uses. Got two more over here. Do you think we should go and help? It sounds like. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. It's not the voice I was yeah, expecting. You want you. Kenneth's <laughs> running you ragged already, I expect, the old rascal. Well, he did say he'd give me something for my trouble. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad. And keep up the good work. Alrighty. I think he'd have time for a nip with old August before scampering back to his solar, but no. Oh, the Orchestrion. I think we had unlocked some stuff for this already. Uh, changing the tune. Background music played in the hideaway can be changed by accessing, accessing the Orchestrion. The track list is expanded by or using Orchestrion rules acquired from main scenario quests, shops, or treasure coffers. Alright. Makes sense. Hide, hideaway, where the heart is. What else do we have? Maybe just those two, actually. Oh, no, we have these as well. These are from, like, the... the DLCs and stuff. What's this one? 16 bells. Sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty nice. It's kind of quiet, though. That's alright, though. Um, I don't want to make it too loud. I'm going to just kind of kind of leave audio good this time, and then in the next recording, I'll see if it's, if it's good or not. But yeah, let's go ahead and place this bowl. It should be the third of the soup bowls that we need to place. So there we go. Oh, my thanks. I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> not at all. Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. He left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> now, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. All right, nice. That's the last one. Eh? I'd better let Kenneth know. Yeah, let's do it. All done, I presume. Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed, equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. Beyond these walls, we are scorned as slaves. Speaking only when spoken to, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here is the first many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. More than reason enough to trust in Sid's vision, wouldn't you say? Now. I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again, won't you? Nice. Quest complete. Food for thought. <laughs> oh, we got some wireite. Wireite? Material. Used in crafting. Okay. Interesting. So it's metal, it looks like. Interesting. Alright. 
Uh, oh, treasure coffers. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open with the F and reap the bounty. Go on, no one's looking. <laughs> Alright, nice. Badge of metal. Sweet. Uh, so let's see what that is all about then. I'm assuming it's gear. Badge of metal, okay. Um, increases defense by 10. Nice. But I can only hold three of these, right? So, yeah, that's not an ideal, I guess. That's nice. Time of evasion, automatically evade, evade attacks. That's really good. Okay, Sith charm increases guilt earned by 25%. That's also super nice. Um, maybe timely attacks, I guess, we could, we could, we could change, increase our defense by 10. Kind of sucks you can only hold three. That would be nice if we could hold more, to be honest, but it's okay. All right, uh, let's continue on, shall we? So, speak with Karen at her stall. I can't remember what the, yeah, journal, there we go. Okay, so we don't have any more side quests then, do we? Uh, what is this again? Main scenario progress. Okay, yeah, yeah. Completed quests. Nice. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we already did all the side quests nearby. Could be wrong, but I believe so. Alright, let's uh, speak with... Is it Karen? I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Her eyes different colors? Or like one's out, maybe? Alright, uh, both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops, purchased at shops around Velasthea. Uh, shop stock changes as the story progresses, so be sure to check in frequently. Alright, Karen's tool. Purchase new gear, materials, or consumables. I guess we can grab this, even though it's worse. Uh, 500, though, that's a lot now. Uh, iron bracers. Ooh, they are better than what I have, actually. That's a decent idea. You can get consumables, but that's not really worth it for me. Though. I'll go ahead and buy one of these. It'd better all be here. And then sell stuff. Yes, please. Imperial infantry blade. Uh, I guess I could, I could just keep it for now, though. Imperial Infantry Belt we could sell, I suppose. Van Braces. Shouldn't really need this, to be honest. We get 30 gil for it. Eh, it's not that much, though. We have some stuff here. Materials I don't want, want to keep, though. Ooh, I can sell these for a decent amount, though. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and sell one of these. Example, you got that much. And probably one of these. I reckon I can find a buyer. Maybe one of these. Not out else. And maybe like two of these. I'm a thankful yeah. you got that much. B sell all valuables. Interesting. Alright, I think we're good. That's all. Why are you barely a guilty your name? Taking his side now, and after all I've done for you. <laughs> all right, all right, I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered, and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me. Thank your dog.
All right. Speak with Karen. It's all done. Collect the supplies. All right. Let's do that then. Uh, just to double check, super quick. Let me make sure I have the right stuff equipped. I think I do. Iron bracelets. Yep, we do. Okay. So I can probably just get rid of this because it's just worse straight up. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it for now, but probably just get rid of it. Collect the supplies. All right. Oh, hello. The Aret Stone, or Aret Stone, I don't know, is now accessible. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. Okay. Hall of Virtue on your battle skills in a, cu new, in a customizable training area. Shops and locked appearance. Okay, let's do Hall of Virtue, I guess. I think that's what it wants us to do. <laughs> Training mode. All right, here we go. Uh, Training the Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable landscape that provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Press F1 to open the training menu to adjust both enemy and ally parameters. Okay. F1. One for training options. Uh, input display, action log, invincibility. That's quite cool. HP is restored automatically, available only when invincibility mode is turned off. Burst timing, displays burst magic timing. Uh, recast timers, when on, all ability f are ignored. Okay, yep. Yeah. Enemy aggro, enemies will attack, enemies will not lose HP, immediate takedown. Oh, interesting. Select target, select an enemy with which to, stra to train. Okay. Goblin Weaver, Gigas, Goblin Mugger. So we can actually change them. Okay. And then... Oh, shit. Can I click on this? No. Let's just scroll up then. Oh, let's do random, I guess. Very interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and get out of here, I think, right? F1. How do we leave? End training. There we go. B. Alright. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Alright. We should be good here. Appearance. That's, on, that's locked. Okay. Let's leave. Very interesting, though. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? It's you I'll miss the most, Lady Karen. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? <laughs> this should be fun. Right. All right, fast travel. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progress, progressing sorry through the main story or discovering waymarks known as obelisks. Um, the world map will automatically open upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. Okay. Click 
the supplies. Make for the gray wood. Okay, I think we're good here, honestly. As far as I'm aware, let me double check on the map that I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I think we're good. Accessible in the infirmary. So yeah, let's let's go. Make for the great wood. There's a good girl. Hungry are you? All right, open world map. Let's do it. All right, make for the great wood. It says. What is this? Is that where we're going? I guess. Yep, there's the great wood. All right. It's got a little thing pop up on the left there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. Fast travel. Or basically the only way to travel there. <laughs> the Holy Empire of Sembrek. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Sembrek, eh? Bastard blood flies everywhere. Blood flies. I told yep. you we should have taken the crystal road. Mosquitoes? <laughs> well, I told you that we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm hurrying us from here to the Holy Capital? Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. But a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Fanning embers. All right. Uh, hero's best friend. Torgo has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. Pet commands. Use four to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick. Attack. Two to heal. And three. Ravage. Launch an enemy into the air. Ooh, wow. Okay. Four to toggle between item shortcuts and pet, sweat, pet commands. One, two, three. Okay. I'll try to remember that. Timely assistance. The access, accessory known as the ring of timely assistance removes the need for tor get to giving for giving Torgal commands. When the item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Oh. Did I mention there'd be deadly beasts? There'll be deadly beasts. <laughs> Uh, that's not a bad idea, the Timely Assistance one. Badge of Metal, maybe. I think we'll do the Timely Assistance. Oh, the Ring of Timely Assistance effects are included in the Ring of Timely Strikes. Ah. Interesting. I guess we'll go for the Timely Strikes one, since it says it's part of it. Not okay. a trained assassin can't handle one. How reassuring. You're welcome. For that and the shortcut. Oh, Alright, we're jumping in now. Okay. Walking a little bit quicker, at least. Whoops. It's fine. Oh, hello. Catch. Morgan, You know what to do, boy. Sick of talk. Ooh, level up. Nice. Let's go. Alright, um cool. Some extra we stuff there. Go. 
Alright, nice. Guess we're going up here then. Oh, below, sorry. Down here. Is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of storm to fall to the blight. Hmm. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said there'd be deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. And you only think to mention this now. Get him, boy! There, boy! Are you sure we didn't lose anything? That's good. Can we pet him? Aww, let's pet him. Good boy. <laughs> nice. I appreciate that. We're it. Oh, hello. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, actually. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.